Samantha Markle has slammed Meghan Markle's marriage as not real and toxic. Want to know all the juicy, juicy details to this one? Well, make sure you subscribe for more and stay tuned for today's Daily Nerd. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yes that markle family interview on sunday was absolutely insane but before i jump into today's main topic there is a little bit of housekeeping firstly youtube human reviewer I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And if you appreciated uh, this video once you've watched it a little bit more, then do send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. Let's have a conversation about it because it does guarantee a response from me. And, oh yeah, let's jump into this one, shall we? So, yes, Samantha Markle goes absolutely savage calling Meghan Markle's marriage not real and toxic? Well, let's go into the quotes here. So, Samantha Markle firstly says, quote, when I watched the royal wedding, I was watching her and I was watching Harry. And there was something, in my opinion, missing in their eyes. It didn't seem real to me. Oh my goodness, like she drops the hammer straight away on this topic and she's like, guys, this doesn't seem real. The relationship doesn't seem real. The marriage doesn't seem real. It's like, what the deuce? Do they actually love each other? Do they care for each other? Samantha Markle's questioning that, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Woo, right? My goodness, my goodness. Now, I watched the wedding, a gazillion others, right, watched the wedding. And at the time, right, we put out the bunting, we celebrated them, we loved them, right? And we were so, so happy for the wedding. But now, as time has gone on, and we now know more things about the whole situation, yeah, you do actually question at times, well, hang on a minute, do they actually love each other? Like, or what, right? I get it, I get it. Now, Samantha Markle goes on and says, quote, when you look at it, in my opinion, what she and Harry have done, throwing everybody in the family, everybody in the world, family under the bus, doing Netflix, making a hundred million dollars, doing spare, writing their own books, who are the gold diggers? She then goes on to say, quote, who are the opportunists of the family name and the family stories and the photographs and of, you know, come on, that's the pot calling the kettle at its ugliest. And in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, she is right, okay? She is correct on this matter, yeah? She raises some really, really good points. But to me, it's also a commentary on the state of their relationship, right? What is their relationship based on? Is it based on a mutual admiration, mutual love, mutual respect? Or is it just now a business where it's just all about the money, all about the books, the documentaries, the interviews, uh, to make sure that they maintain their links with the royal family because it's good for business, right? Good to get all those hundreds of millions of dollars in, right? Is their relationship a true relationship of love, honour, respect, admiration? Or is it just a business relationship where they're codependent on each other based on business? Just asking for a friend, just asking for a friend. But she raises a good point there as well. We then get on to the final bit, you guys. and. Hmm, this is the full quote, okay, because this has been all over the media, right? Samantha Markle calling the marriage toxic, right? Well, let's read out the 
full quote on this one. So the interviewer firstly asks her, so when you look at the last three to five years, do you think meeting Harry, being with Harry, marrying Harry has improved your sister's behaviour or do you think it made it worse? And so Samantha Markle, she responds, quote, I think it's made it worse because I think he has the personality profile that perfectly enables someone who is an alleged narcissist. So in other words, narcissist A has married narcissist B. What did I tell you guys? What have I said all along, right? There is this running, like, most popular commentary, right, in this community that Meghan Markle is pulling the strings, controlling Harry, telling him what to do, this, that, and the other. What have I always said, though, guys? I've always said, no, I don't think it's that at all. I think they're as bad as each other. They're two peas in a pod. And we didn't know this about Harry until he met Meghan. Samantha Markle, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, is absolutely confirming my thoughts on this. She then further says, quote, whether PTSD or seeming neediness over his mother, his history of being somewhat rebellious in his own life and in his own family, competing always with his brother William and never being happy. I mean, he has a similar personality in not only the rebellion, relying on substances, mm -hmm. <laughs> to avoid accountability, to relying on substances, to avoid accountability, whoo, and real growth and responsibility. Oh, I mean, I think he's enabled her, and I don't think, I don't think they're improving each other's lives. So, there you go. He's enabling her. I don't think they're improving each other's lives. They are literally bringing the worst out of each other. Again, Narcissist A has married quite literally Narcissist freaking B. What do you get? A super narcissistic freaking relationship that apparently is uh, not real and toxic. Well, let's get on to the final bit here. She says, I think it's a toxic relationship because they're codependent. They feed off of each other. This is what she's saying, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, right? Narcissist A marries narcissist B. They're feeding off of each other's narcissism. They're getting all these deals, all these books, documentaries, interviews continuing, in my opinion, conspiracy through whatever, to bad mouth the royal family and the British public to throw us all under the bus for the money, 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 money. Again, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, right? But they're codependent on each other. Why? Well, in my humble opinion, A, that they... um. They confirm to each other that what they're doing is the right thing, even though it really, really isn't, right? That they're both thinking the same way in regards to the royal family that comforts uh, each other uh, in that manner. And without one or the other, they're alone in the world, right? And together, they make more money than if they were apart. Especially for Megsy, because... If she ever, or let's say when, because <laughs> I suspect it's not going to be long, when she splits up with Harry, her whole identity of being a royal, of being linked to royal family is gone. She is dependent on Prince Azza for the royal link because without the royal link, she is no one. She is nothing. She's not going to bring in the big books that she is doing at the moment with that link intact. Ta-da! Right? Now, enough with my gob. It's now time for your gobs. If you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, woo, that is going to be more. 
do make sure you click on that subscribe button because this week I will be down in London reporting from the coronation live, so you won't want to miss that. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theory, and whatever. Also, as well, do send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. Let's have a conversation about it because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.